Judge Tad, Tad Hallback um, had the interesting distinction of being one of the few surviving Republican judges of the 2008 sweep when uh, many Democrat judges, many people feel were very unqualified, got swept into office because of the Obama wave at that time. Now we're in a very close election again. Can you tell us about your race and, and how just a few votes can make a huge difference? I can. I'm here to give that testimony that every single vote counts. In my race in 2008, someone who had uh, never really tried any cases ran against me. Uh, there were a million ninety thousand votes cast in my race, and I won by 230 votes, which also included something like a, a recount and then an election contest. So when I hear people say their vote doesn't count, I say I'm here to tell you it counts. Every single one counts. And that's why it's important that everybody make a decision, an informed decision, and get out and vote. Okay. Judge Brock Thomas, former judge here in Harris County, and now uh, trying to get back onto the bench again. I think you can probably testify as well as anybody about the importance of everybody voting down the ballot and the consequences of what could happen in an election like this. Absolutely. Uh, you know, in, in 2008, we lost a number of great judges, uh, both civil courts and criminal courts. Uh, and it, it's critically important because uh, I firmly believe that the decisions that are made in our courthouses, be it the criminal courthouse or be it the civil courthouse or courts of appeals, uh, the cumulative effect of these decisions is profound and it cannot be overstated. And uh, it makes a big difference. We've seen what happened in 2008. Mm -hmm. It's not just at the White House or at the State House, but at the courthouse. Elections have consequences and there's a real difference. And I think as you work your way down the ballot, you see that there, there certainly is a difference. Uh, and that different matters, and uh, people need to know about that. And these judges will have a more likely chance of being involved in somebody's life a lot more than, say, the President of the United States or a United States Senator. What have been the consequences in the last four years of having this slate of eight Democrats that came onto the, onto the bench because of the Obama wave? Well, I, I mean, it, it varies. I mean, you've seen some uh, higher profile consequences. Obviously, you've seen uh, uh, Judge Fyatt, who Judge Patrick uh, recently replaced uh, some of the decisions uh, that were made in that court, specifically uh, making the decision to hold the death penalty in the Constitution. And obviously that decision uh, was uh, the wrong one, and uh, uh, we saw what happened with regard to that. that that's just the high-profile type of decision, but you know, if you take a look and you just see the cumulative effect of those decisions uh, from, from the, those that uh, replaced the judges before, uh, I believe you, when you look at the record of that, the, the impact is profound, and there's a big difference. Judge Patrick mentioned the uh, docket of the 177th, is that correct, 177th court? That when uh, the previous judge held it, it was one of the most efficient courts in the system, and then when Judge Fine took over, it backlogged city, basically. And that's just one of the consequences, I think, of having an inexperienced judge on there. Judge, we thank you for your service and willingness to go through this whole process over again and, and get back on the ballot and look forward to it. you having a successful election. Thank you for what you do in, in educating people in uh, not just the, the bigger high-profile races, but obviously the races down the ballot like these that, uh, as you said, uh, you know, the, the, effect, the, the decisions that are made at this courthouse level are so much more likely to have an impact and touch somebody's life than most of the other decisions that are made by government. They're all important, but uh, we appreciate you taking the time to educate people about uh, the bottom of the ballot. It's really amazing. People all want to come out and vote for the president, but it's the, the school board and the water districts and the local judges that affect your lives more than anything, and many times they get the lowest vote turnout. So Absolutely. we want to encourage everybody to get out and vote, vote all the way down the ballot, and we have a great slate of candidates for them to choose from. We do. Thank, Thank you. you. All right.